Courtney Francois. Courtney Francois, yes. And I'm back with another video. Today we're going to talk about hormonal acne. So hormonal acne is something I know about very, very well. I mean, I didn't figure out it was hormonal acne until like a couple years ago. You know, you become an adult, you start researching stuff, you're like, oh, okay. You know, I thought maybe it just ran and it didn't run in the family. Not at all. Everybody else's skin is clear. So I just wasn't understanding why I was dealing with this acne and all these breakouts. But hormonal acne is an imbalance in your hormones. So basically you need to naturally figure out what is wrong and to balance it out. But it's like, how do you figure out what it is? It could be so many different things. I mean, we, we don't know. We don't know. You go to the doctor, they don't know. They give you all these ointments and it's, it's very difficult. They give you antibiotics and all this other stuff, but really it's some type of imbalance going on and you kind of need to figure it out. So my acne started in sixth grade and it's been there since sixth grade. I mean, my breakouts get worse when I'm about to have a period or that's usually how I know I'm pregnant. You know, it's like I start breaking out super bad on my face and on my back and I'm just like, I think I'm pregnant. And sure enough, I'll be knocked up because it'd be everywhere, chest, everywhere, neck, behind the ears, break out really bad. So most of the time it is that your, it's a hormone change and your estrogen drops and then your testosterone is still kind of high. So, you know, you, you have these breakouts like a guy. So it's usually in the beard area, all in here. And I, I have lots of those breakouts under here and testosterone, you know, so down in here behind the ears, it's on your shoulder blades, your back, your chest, behind your arms. I mean, I'm, I know all about it. So during that time, oil is pumped deep into the hair follicle and is causing a clog. And that's when you have those kind of tender bumps that never really come to the head. You keep trying to bust it and it hurts and, and nothing really happens. Some stuff come out, maybe like some little liquid, sometimes a clear liquid, sometimes liquid with a little white stuff. But the bump is, is just always there. It's like, come on, man. And then, you know, when you have black holes in your face, that is really a bump that has never been busted. So if you really just press, 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 some old dirt is going to come up. It's going to be hard and it's going to squiggle out, but it happens. So just know those black holes, those are old bumps. You need to go ahead and get, get in there and do some squeezing. So the solutions, well, you go to the doctor, you go see, uh, see the doctor and what they do is they give you a whole bunch of topical ointments topical ointments don't work i've been using all the topical ointments for years they don't work you can they give you some pills some antibiotics things like that but like i said birth control worked and birth control because it's a hormone you know birth control worked it cleared my face right up i mean it was so clear and beautiful i was like what but like i said the effect for that with me was that it made my vagina dry so choices do we want clear skin or do we want a dry vagina I, I mean, I pick, I pick just dealing with the acne. It was like, fine. <laughs> like, like I'll, I'll do that. So I looked up some stuff and I found this, this estrogen support stuff. Boom, boom. It's, it's backwards. I know, but hey, it's, hey, you know, I went on Amazon, typed in estrogen and it was a couple things popped up and a lot of people had reviewed this one i read a lot of reviews and it was a couple pictures of chicks and they had the pictures of the bumps down here and then afterwards and it was kind of cleared up but i was like okay so i've been taking this for like a week and it's also becoming fall and my eyes have been very dry so it's like i don't know if i want to blame the dry eyes on this or on the weather i'm going to try and blame it on the weather we're going to keep trying to take these my eyes are very dry right now so I hope it is not. And I looked it up. I was like, does this cause dry? And it didn't say it had any type of negative effects, really. So, you know, we've been, we've been taking it and we're trying to see what it can do. It's supposed to it's supposed to be estrogen. It's supposed to help with your skin. A lot of people said they felt more energy. Um, it helped with period pain. So, I don't know. We, we will see. We will see. And it's a dietary supplement. So, I'm trying it out. Um... And also, it's supposed to, estrogen helps with clearing up acne and with adding moisture to your vagina. So, we're testing it out. And plumping breast. You know, I, I am a fan of plumping up breast. So, it's been maybe a week, week and a half. And, you know, they say it'll take a week and a half or something to get in your system. So, I mean, maybe I'll do an update video in like a month to see where we are going with this. So, also with the acne, I've been looking up all types of different washes. I've been exfoliating. So, I just started a baking soda exfoliation. 
this is my second day was today so i can't really give you that many results we'll update with the estrogen and the exfoliating so they say baking soda you know it takes off all the dead skin so you just do baking soda and you just get a little water and you put it on your face or you could do it with some coconut oil and they say that kind of makes you look younger and i did it with coconut oil today but then my face was all you know it feels oily and i just i don't know how i felt about that I'm not too sure. So I don't know if I'll do it with the coconut oil again. It'll probably just be the baking soda. And I have my little scrub brush and then we, we exfoliate. We exfoliate. We let it sit there. We wash our body and then we rinse it off with warm water. Um, so also with the hormonal agony, you can drink more water because you need to decrease the oil. You need to cleanse your body. I don't drink much water. I really don't. So that's also an issue. I have issues and I know why. I have hormonal acne. I don't drink water. I need to do better. I mean, that would probably help out a lot if I drink some water. Um, body cleanses. You know, people do cleanses every now and then, again, and cleanses do help. I mean, it helps clear out the toxins that are in and make you feel brand new and kind of start over. I have the Indian clay mask. You can also... You, do y'all really want me to run away and go get it? Hold on. Boom, we're back. So, backwards too. But I got this at the hair store. Now, I saw a lot of people posting about this on Facebook. And I looked up on Amazon. I was going to order but I went to the hair store and I saw it. I was said, what? So, the Indian Healing Clay. I have this. You do a mask maybe like once a week. And it's supposed to be deep pore cleansing. I use that. Let the mask sit on. You could mix it with water to make the mask or apple cider vinegar vinegar i mix it with the apple cider vinegar um you can exercise more exercising helps to clean pores you need to clean pores so exercise more watch your diet and try to balance your hormones balance your hormones by trying to be as clean as possible clean eating things like that because we don't really know what the imbalance is we just know there's some type of imbalance and that's why we were having issues with the acne and all the breakouts so i'm trying to figure it out right now i'm trying to work on all these different things to clear my face up i'm using the estrogen got the clay mask so i'll do an update video and we'll be back we'll talk about this we'll talk about how everything is working for my face the baking soda exfoliator and hopefully everything gets better i mean i had a horrible breakout last week and i mean my face is it's smooth now. Now I just have, I guess, kind of like spots I'm dealing with. So, I mean, I guess it's getting better, like I said, because I don't really have bumps anymore. I just have spots from the bumps and me busting bumps that I need to deal with now. That is the issue. So, I guess we'll see also around my next menstrual if I start breaking out again. I guess that'd be another sign if this estrogen support is working or not. So, thanks for watching. You guys like, comment, subscribe. You know, hit the little notification bell right there. Yes, right there. And I'll see you guys later. I'll be back with another video for show. Bye.